It was once a vibrant financial center on Chicago's south side, a popular bank built in 1923. But for years it was vacant and scheduled for the wrecking ball. Until it was rescued by an artistic visionary. Now it's a major cultural center. Today, showcasing a young Chicago artist who is using his talents to interpret some classic images. So this is it. This is your work. Visual artist Adeshola McKindy found inspiration from the pages of magazines that were in just about every African American home. Ebony and Jet. The advertisements, the stories, it was all so thoughtful um, in showing black life. Using photos, even subscription forms, McKindy has put his stamp on these images of black life. A joyous Louis Armstrong, a pensive Cicely Tyson, children greeting the ice cream truck. I really just wanted to, um, you know, capture that feeling that the ice cream truck driving through a neighborhood gives you. It's fitting that McKendee's exhibition would be here at the Stony Island Arts Bank, which houses an enormous and visually striking collection of books donated by Johnson Publishing, the iconic Chicago company and the longtime home of Ebony and Jet. I decided to make this library instead of a private affair to bring it to rebuild, to house it in the arts bank, and then make these volumes of kind of black knowledge and excellence available uh, to the community and the world. It was a decade ago that artist, entrepreneur, and Rebuild Foundation founder Theester Gates bought this old bank building at 68th and Stony Island and went to work, creating what is now a beacon on the south side. When people drive past now or they walk past or they hear music bumping on Sundays, I want them to feel like, man, how can I be a part of this? Is this for me? I want to go in. It is one of many projects guided by Gates, who wants to make culture accessible to everyone. Culture is all around this place, um, but sometimes you need a home, a house for culture. And I feel like at, at its most fundamental level, we make houses for culture. This is actually a digital print. Now offering a showcase for a young Chicago artist whose exhibition will be on display here until February 27th. It's recontextualizing something that is often thrown away. and Giving new life to pages that capture generations of the black experience. To be showing my work here is truly a, you know, a dream come true. 